Hi everyone, so here's a quick video for those of you who are picture book authors and illustrators or even just illustrators who are working on picture book dummies. Um, and or this is also for those people, I guess, if you want to have multiple images and you want to import those as a PDF from Procreate. So this is Procreate. You want to have all your, it makes it easier if all your pictures are in a stack. And so you go into your stack and I've got all my pictures and your pictures need to be actually the size of what your dummy picture book is. And so this was just one picture book that I was working on. And so if you look over here, you can see this is kind of like where my gutter is going to be. And then I have both sides of my picture book over here. And the great part with Procreate is now you can add text to it. And so you can just, you know, type whatever you want. You can change the size of your text. You can actually even change what your text looks like if you want to do that. And then there's bold or, you know, all these things. And then, oops. And then you can just move those things anywhere you want to move them. So I could have a big chunk of text right here. All right. All right, come on. And so then when you want to make a PDF of all the images in your book, what you do is you hit select over here on the top right. I think my pen's not. And then these little circles appear next to each one. And also I title all mine um, with the title or with, with the spread names usually. And so the, the way that you want your stuff to go. So right now it's actually not in the right order. So I have turn it one, two, three, four, but then my five for whatever reason is over here actually. So if you need to change the order of your images, you just hold on to it and then you move them around and then it moves it. So now it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, so on and so forth. All right, so then we're going to do the select. Then I'm going to select. There's a little circle next to each one of these. So let's say I'm going to do the, the first 10 spreads. And then you're going to do share. And then you want to export it as a PDF. And then I usually do better just to do a little bit smaller file size. And then it's going to take a moment to export. Then you can choose wherever you want to send it. So you could email it to yourself. Usually for me, I um, save things in Dropbox because then it's easy for me to share it to if I'm sending it to an editor or if I'm sending it to my agent, if I'm sending it to my critique partners, um, whatever it might be. So you choose where you want to send it. So let's say I want to send it to my Dropbox. Um, I can I can retitle what my PDF is going to be. So I'll put turnip dummy and then hit save and then you're all done. And then it's going to take a couple of minutes to upload. And then I will show you what it looks like once we get there. When it's done, it takes a moment. So then it's been saved. All right. And then you can go to your Dropbox. And let's see, there we go. And then it's got my turnip dummy right here looking all nice and pretty. Isn't that awesome? Alrighty, so hopefully that's going to be helpful for you guys and let me know if you like it. You can follow me on social media. All the links are going to be shown below and I also have a mailing list where you, you'll get um, all my new stuff that's coming up and hopefully you'll subscribe. I'll put that link down on the bottom too. Thanks so much. Bye.